All right, guys, let's get to uh, the good news here. You see the sun's out. It's the first time in uh, six days I've actually been without a rain jacket here on the Weather Channel. We broke the story yesterday morning about the University of uh, South Carolina not having water. Dave Malkoff joins us now to talk about that. You went up there. Yeah. Uh, what was it like? I mean, are they... Well, they, there's, there's porta potties everywhere. They don't have anywhere to go to the bathroom. The lines for the dining halls are extremely long. It's really hard to get in there. This is a big school, Jim. I mean, there's a lot of kids oh, 33, there. 33,000 students. Eh? Plus 6,000 faculty on staff so they have to make sure that they're not drinking this dirty water here and drinking just the clean water. We're going to take you to where all our water is boiled. Bad water in Columbia. And it smells bad too. And it's worse when you're stuck in a college dorm. I'm from New Jersey so my family is back home in New Jersey watching the news. And no doubt worried sick. Heather, Taylor, Wesley, and Delaney are all from out of town studying here at the University of South Carolina where the water runs, but the city does not want you using it unless it's boiled. My friend took a shower last night and woke up with like an eye infection, so you don't yeah. want to do that. The problem? Simply too much water. It's overloaded nearly every waterway, making water treatment historically difficult, according to Columbia City officials. And it's really bad all around us, but I think we all feel pretty safe in here up on the fifth floor. These sandbags here are part of the solution here. It's going to take some time. All this water feeds into the water treatment plant, but the flood busted right through the side of the canal. This is what they're going to try to plug the hole with, try to fix the problem. For now, it's bottled water on campus, truckloads of it. This is what 10,000 bottles of water looks like. And this shipment was actually the third of its kind in one day. Yes, and we have all our water bottles here. There are 32,000 students here. Add the citywide population, and that's 100,000 more, all without clean water. Back on campus, students are limited to three bottles of free water from the truck per day. Then there's the curfew. We can't leave past 7 p.m. Far from home, dealing with a disaster on the fifth floor of a college dorm. We're getting a little cabin fever here. Yeah. <laughs> and that water is still moving. Look at it cooking through that hole right there. It's not going to fix the problem until you get those sandbags in there. Each one of those, Jim, right. 2,000 pounds. You got a 33,000 pound helicopter, the Chinook CH-47, that's going to drop those sandbags in there, plug the hole. They cannot send the water to homes. Are they going to put the barges in first and then the sandbags in the barges? Well, they, they, put, they put the barges over here okay. and then they drop the sandbags on top. It's a huge operation. They have to remove that big tree to be able to do it and do something with these uh, power lines back here, too. All right, guys, we'll keep you posted as that unfolds. A huge uh, solution, obviously, to the drinking water problem here in Columbia. Sam, back to you. Yeah, Jim, as soon as that starts, let us know because we're all going to want to see it. Uh, Jim.